The Weeping Woman. This is a story that the old ones have been telling to children for hundreds of years. It is a sad tale, but it lives strong in the memory of the people, and there are many who swear that it's true. Long years ago, in an humble little village, there lived a fine looking girl named Maria. Some say she was the most beautiful girl in the world. And because she was so beautiful, Maria too she was better than everyone else. As Maria grew older, her beauty increased, and her pride in her beauty grew too. When she was a young woman, she would not even look at the young men from her village. They weren't good enough for her. When I marry, Maria would say, I will marry the most handsome man in the world. And then one day, into Maria's villas rode a man who seemed to be just the one she had been talking about. He was a dashing young ranchero, the son of the wildly rancher from the southern plains. He could ride like a Comanche. In fact, if he owned a horse and it grew tame, he would give it away and would rob a wild horse from the plains. He thought it wasn't mainly. To ride a horse it if wasn't half wild. He was handsome and he could play the guitar and sing beautifully. Maria, what Maria made up had mean that was demand for her. She knew just the tricks to win his attention. If If the ranchero spoke, uh, when they meet to the payway, she would turn her head away. When he came to her house in the evening to play his guitar and serenade her, she wouldn't even come to a window. She refuses all his costly gifts. The young man feel for her, her tricks. Back hardly. Girl, Maria, Maria, he says to himself, I know I can't win her here. It's sweeter, he will marry that girl. And so already turning out as Maria playing. Before long, she and the ranchero became engaged, and so they were married. Marie. At first, Things were fine. They had two children and they seemed uh, to be a happy family together. But after a few years, the rancher went uh, back to a wild life in the prairies. He would leave town and be gone for months at a time. And when he returned home, He was only to visit his children. He seemed to care nothing for the beautiful Maria. He even talking of setting Maria and sit and marrying a woman of his own worldly crush. As proud as Maria was, of course, she became very angry with the ranchero. She also began to feel anger toward her children because he paid attention to them, but just ignored her. On evening, as Maria was strolling while her two children on the study paid way near the river, the ranchero came by, by in a carriage. An elegant lady sat on the seat beside him. He stopped and spoke to his children, but he didn't even look at Maria. He whipped the horse on up the, the street. When she was when she saw that a terrible rage filled Maria, and it all 
turning against her children. And although it is sad to tell the story side that in her anger Maria says it her two children and threw them into a driver. But as they disappear down the stream, she realized what she had done. She ran down the bank of the river, rushing out her arms to them, but they weren't long gone. The next morning, a traveler brought word to a village that a beautiful woman, a lady they had on the bank of the river, that is where they found Maria, and they laid her to a rest where she had fallen. But the first night Maria was in the grave. The villagers heard the sound of the crying down by the river. It was not the wind. It was La Llorona crying, where are, my where are my children? And they saw a woman walking up and down the van of the river, dressing in a long white robe, the way they had dressed Maria's for Borina. On many a dark night, they saw her walk up the river van and cried for her children, and so they no longer spoke of her as Maria. They called her La Llorona, the weeping woman, and by that name she is now to his day. Children are warned not to go out in the dark, for La Llorona might snatch them and never return them. <laughs>